This is a little demonstration of performance of Splashtop HD, which is a type of remote desktop application that runs on a variety of different uh, operating systems. Right now I've got it uh, running on Android, as you can see. Okay, so editing performance with um, on Android, well, through Splashtop on my laptop. Uh, the splash top goes at a uh, nearly 30 frames per second at time depending on your connection speed. Basically the biggest use for this would be if you're somewhere with a fast enough internet connection and you have a fast enough internet connection at say home, um, you could let's just import some footage you could edit on the fly or show a, a client footage and you wouldn't have to take along a full laptop you would be able to just take along this uh, this does run on iPad as well but having the keyboard built in and the extra battery life makes it a little handier to run it on um, so here's the latest video that I my my blog vlog that I last uploaded. Um, I can run, I'm using Vegas, Vegas is easiest to use this. Um, the the uh, quality is uh, amazing. I'm getting off track because I'm thinking of that. Watching myself, watch myself talking to myself, but um, absolutely if you have a fast enough connection you can actually make basic edits and make this actually work quite well. It's fairly responsive and certainly enough um, if you're just making changes on the fly for a client on the fly in the field you could just take along your uh, little Android laptop and actually edit on the fly. So you do easily do Photoshop as well but with nearly 30 frames per second um, it's quite an amazing tool. Um, now places like uh, coffee houses or, or Starbucks um, don't have a fast enough connection. What I've found is you need about four to five megabits to get a, a nice high quality frame rate. Usually around one or two with uh, like a Starbucks quality frame rate. But um, you're watching that there. That's playing for my computer. This is preview half quality playing at full 24 frames per second pixel. Well, this isn't pixel perfect because actually my computer's having a hard time playing back the full 88 megabit files, but it's nice. I have this uh, top bar that I added across the screen, which is the part of the on-screen keyboard that allows you to quickly access some Windows functions. So I have that on there. But um, yeah, there's no banding or like 256 color posterization it's full quality and quite uh, fantastic for for what it is um, anyway that's just one demonstration of the things that you can do with an Android uh, you could do this straight on with your fingers as well I mean you can drag and I, I've got a mouse hooked up um, via USB on the uh, transformer and that's why I have the mouse pointer here. Anyway, uh, as you can see it's very nice and very responsive.